Alright, it is about 1.30 in the morning, and this is my second attempt to record this video because the first time, the audio was all fucked up. Well, this is an editor I've been working on for 2D map editing. It's pretty simple, it was written in C-sharp, it's one of my first big projects. And I wrote it by myself, so I'm, I'm pretty happy. But, I'll load it up right now. There's a 3 second splash screen. And here's the editor, it's relatively simple interface wise I mean watch to create a new a new map we just go to file new you can set the dimensions I'm gonna leave it 10 by 10 texture folder I'll leave the same the default back color of the uh, tiles the author description and map name then we generate now if you if this was a big map we could easily using the scroll bars scroll over it moves the uh, tiles by 32 by 32 at a time. If we want to go back to the default, we click the red X. And now here in the textures tab, we can choose what texture we want for our tiles. That's the default texture. I'm going to choose dark grass. Now, if I scroll over to the tile window, every time I scroll over a tile, it highlights um, with a green border. If I left click, I can paint. If I click the scroll bar down once, it'll auto paint. And then if I click it again, it'll stop auto painting. I also have some other textures such as water, and I have a few blends. These were thrown together in Photoshop in about I don't know ten minutes. I really didn't put a lot of work in them. I'm not an artist. You can view a grid if you would like. A little problem with drawing, but I'll fix that eventually. You can. There's a debug out. It doesn't work too well right now. Change the map properties, which is just the names and everything. You can change the map options, which is just simple stuff, invert scroll bars, redraw grid while scrolling, change the texture folder, set the back color of the application, which is actually the edit tile window is called, which is this. Change your selection block color, which for, I'll make it red. Hit OK, then you can change it back to the default if you want, and see, it works. It's a little strange with the grid. There's an, actually an option to uh, redraw the grid while scrolling, but problem with that is it slows it down for some reason and you can easily change any textures you can preview them all that's it supports PNG, pngs right now not ping and that's basically it i mean file if i save it should open up fine i'll overwrite the one i did for the last part of the video should be able to close it open it back up and it loads just fine and this is the editor um, currently in production by me and it's just made out of simple C sharp forms or windows forms and it's late and I'm kinda tired so Chris signing off thanks for watching